Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel, Baddest and Intuitive Tarot. Hope you are doing amazing. In today's reading, I'm taking a look into your romantic love life for the month of October 2023. I'm gonna pull a few A7 card spread, take a look at who you may be connecting with around this time romantically, find out how they'll truly feel about you, take a look at their true intentions with you, I'll take a look at their behavior towards you to make sure that they're treating you right. And I'll also be diving deep into what's in your blind spot with this person, Scorpio, meaning what can negatively impact the connection with this person in October that maybe you have no idea could even be an issue for the two of you in the first place. Whether you're doing something to sabotage the connection and you have no idea that you're doing it, or your person is, or something or someone external to the two of you seems to not want you guys to be together for whatever reason and is trying to tear you guys apart. If that's the case, I will do my best to find out what it could be, why it could be, or if it could be a thing in the first place, followed by your advice. I get pretty nosy. Also, if you're in recent no contact with anybody at this time, I will pull their hidden feelings for you at the end of the reading and see what they might want to do about it. So let's begin. Spirit, please connect me to my beautiful Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements all throughout October 2023 in Romantic Love. What's going on with them? Who is Scorpio connecting to and can Scorpio trust this person's intentions with them? Seven card spread. Scorpio, Love, October 2023. What is their tarot forecast? Scorpio, October 2023, love. What is their tarot forecast? Two more shuffles. One and two. Let's rock this and deck for my beautiful Scorpios. Okay, so the person you'll be connecting to, their feelings for you. Whoa, the devil, major for Capricorn. I seem to get this for you a lot, Scorpio. Someone's obsessed with you. Um, and if it's not obsession, it's the energy of wanting too much of a good thing, wanting what you can't have, overindulgence, third party energy, or just this person is like really focused on you for some reason and can't break free from what, what they're feeling inside. You see how you guys' arms are like chained together? But I'm also seeing the shadow of the devil and the hand positioning of the shadow almost looks like someone's squeezing someone's throat chakra, like not letting someone speak, not letting someone use their voice. So you may have either silenced this person by blocking their phone number or you told them to leave you alone or they feel like they have no choice but to keep you a secret. There's something going on here and I'm gonna find out. So what's their true intentions with you? The Six of Wands. This person wants your attention. This person wants something to uh, be brought to the light. They want something to go their way. Because the Six of Wands as intentions, that's the intent to see growth. That's the intent to see success. That is the intent to get recognized. They want you to pay attention to them. They want you to definitely pay attention to them. Could be a Leo. But this is uh, ruled by planet Jupiter, which is all about growth and expansion. So they want to see something work out in their favor. Okay. So all eyes are on you right now, Scorpio. This is intense, but not in a, I, I mean, I like the Six of Wands, so I can't say it's a, I mean, there's a lot of fire. Both art depictions show me a lot of fire, which symbolizes passion and desire, but it also speaks of being in, in like a hot water situation, okay? Like someone feels like their hands are tied in some regard. What's their behavior towards you in October? The Two of Cups, this person wants to get close to you. They want to be in a relationship with you or to maintain the relationship if things have been a little bit, you know, weird between the two of you. I do see this person just wanting you to see them the way that they see you. They might feel like something is not working out as planned right now, okay? But they intend to do something about it. And sometimes when the Six of Wands shows up as somebody's intentions, it could tell me that this person intends to resolve something between the two of you because the Five of Wands goes right before the Six of Wands card and the Five of Wands in tarot, <clears throat> I'm losing my voice all of a sudden. Look at that, they're trying to silence me. Um, the Five of Wands in tarot is jealousy, competition, conflict, feeling like you have to compete for someone's attention. They feel like they have to compete for your attention. Whether you get recognized a lot on social media or you have a lot of people at your work that are always flirting with you or there's a third party situation going on here all right and roles can be reversed if i'm got some cross watchers watching could be a cancerian i got cancerian energy i have capricorn energy and leo so far how do you feel about this person scorpio the fool you're ready to have some sort of new chapter open up with this person you're into them too 
but you're reaching for that doorknob as if to say you can't open it just yet. You're prepared, you got your wallet, your car keys, your money, you're ready to open up that door, but you're like pausing for a second. You're hesitating opening up that doorknob, you know. It's, it's just the energy of you feeling like something needs a moment. Something needs a moment before something can really fully be um, moved forward. And I'm looking at these mountains in the far distance, which talks about obstacles. You know, you may feel like there's some obstacles for the two of you. Like you're taking some sort of risk, taking some sort of leap of faith. <clears throat> and my voice again. Look at that. It feels like my voice is being like restricted. And I was fine when I started this recording. Um, whoa, this is intense. It's like you're reaching for that doorknob and you, you may be worried that it's you're going to get burned in this situation. Like the door, the, the doorknob is hot with all this heat. Kind of like that, that scene on Home Alone with Macaulay Culkin had that door hot for the burglars. You may feel like something is too hot right now or got too much heat around it. Um, like there's too much intensity for someone to move forward. Like the, the, you both definitely want each other. Okay, what's the what's the obstacle? What is in the blind spot that Scorpio does not see in regards to the situation? The Page of Pentacles. Hmm. Now the Page of Pentacles is communication about stability. It's an opportunity. It's an offer. Um, but it's telling me that something is delayed right now. Like something is being delayed. I see somebody here opening up a book as if to say they're opening up a new chapter or open to opening up a new chapter. And that's what the Fool card represents, a new chapter. But when it's in the blind spot, I read the energy in reverse. So, you know, it's, it's not available just yet for some reason. Whether it's because of long distance, whether it's because of someone not speaking up and speaking their mind and letting another person know what their true intentions are. Um, someone here does not want to get screwed over here in the situation is not like rushing. What's the potential outcome for these two in October, please? The Ten of Wands. Now, the Ten of Wands is putting in the work. The Ten of Wands is, you know, dealing with whatever obstacles that life brings you. So if there's obstacles, you're over here like, I'll climb them. And this person's like, I'll climb them. We'll, we'll work it out together. It's the energy of holding on. All right, so what's your advice? Ace of Cups. Your advice is to open your heart, speak from the heart, be vulnerable, don't be closed off. If you gotta t tell this person how you feel, do it. If this person expresses themselves, you know, re reciprocate because you're the other half of this Two of Cups. You know, that's your Ace of Cups and that's your person's Ace of Cups. And they're asking you to be vulnerable, you know? What's the overall energy for the two of you? Judgment, major for Scorpio. Now, judgment is the energy of, <clears throat> you know, resurrecting a connection from the dead. Um, it's the energy of forgiveness. It's the energy of making final decisions. It's the energy of, you know, also pointing the blame at another when the blame has to be redirected back to the, the, the blamer. You know, like someone's needing to take accountability for something first before this can actually happen. So if your person say owes you an apology, you know, and you know, they're keeping their voice restricted on purpose. You may be in the energy of, hey, I'll open up that door if you apologize to me about something that, you know, was, was said or wasn't done. Or there's something, because that page of pentacles sometimes comes up as my apology card or extending an olive branch card or letting bygones be bygones. But it's also the energy of a offer that was like lingering, but nobody grabbed it. Like a low hanging fruit that was lingering and nobody grabbed it for some reason. Um, judgment, nine of swords temperance, a lot of sleepless nights surrounding the two of you. And with Archangel Michael here blending those two cups together, he's preparing you as his drinks. He's preparing you as his order. You know, that's, that's him making your drinks. So something may have needed divine timing. Um, interesting reading. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dive in and clarify. So let's start with your person's feelings for you right now. We have the devil. That's the energy of overindulgence, um, lusting. Why the devil for how this person feels about Scorpio? Why the devil? 
by the devil. The High Priestess and the Empress. So this person feels like you are very loving, very abundant. Um, they are keeping something a secret though with that High Priestess energy. And I already felt that energy when I looked at the art depiction. It showed me someone squeezing their throat chakra as if to say, I'm not giving up these details. I am staying private. I'm being discreet. I'm not opening up. I am not opening up, but I am holding on to this connection, but I'm not opening up. So you got someone that feels like they can't feel safe vulner being vulnerable with you, whether it's because you walked away from them recently or they had to walk away from you because the situation was not, you know, uh, the situation was not like ready. I don't know why I'm getting ready. The word ready. The situation wasn't ready. Like someone needed to prepare for this. Someone needed to be ready. I don't know what it's trying to tell me. I mean, I am seeing these documents. I don't know if someone needed documents first, like someone needed to finalize a divorce or um, give me another card on how this person feels about Scorpio, please. Why the devil with the high priestess and the empress? It almost feels like someone abandoned a plan that was originally made. Yeah, Four of Swords, Seven of Cups. There was a plan that was um, cut off. Like either you made a plan with this person, they made a plan with you, or that's gonna happen at the first half of October during Libra season, this is Libra season, where a plan is just gonna be cut off momentarily. Okay, and the Four of Swords is the energy of no communication. So for some of you, they stop talking to you, but they're still obsessing about you. Um, there's some confusion here about someone's truth, Ace of Swords. Like someone may be not expressing what they want to say because they don't even know what they need to say. It's the energy of, I don't even know how I feel. How can I tell Scorpio how I feel if I don't fully know how I feel? I'm confused. You know, it feels like that. Five of Swords, the Chariot. I don't know if there was an argument between the two of you that would explain the Six of Wands. Um, but let's see. Your feelings for this person, Scorpio, is the Fool. And then there's the Fool again. You're ready for some sort of new beginning to happen. It's like you're, you're ready. You've been ready. It may have been just your person that was procrastinating or just needed to take care of a few things. Well, the Five of Swords, it came back out. Now, the Five of Swords is you know, frustration, it's conflict, it's feeling the situation is not something one can trust. Like you don't feel like you can trust it. All right, and I'm also getting that someone is worried about being exposed or being vulnerable before they're ready to be vulnerable because I'm seeing this hairless naked cat surrounded by all these furry cats. So this one is exposed. It's like the moment you open up that door to start a new chapter with this person, you may feel like you're gonna be exposed to some manipulation, some frustration, some drama. There's something that you're like, oh, if I open up this door, am I gonna get cornered, you know? <clears throat> and then there's the Fool again, and the Two of Swords. The Fool to the Two of Swords is you trying to ignore something right now because you're trying to make sense of something. And then I got the world card. So a cycle is getting ready to complete itself. Okay, but this has to happen first before the fool card because the world card is the final card in the tarot deck and the fool is the, the first one. So one, one door has to close before this new door can open. Okay, whatever that means for you. And I said something similar earlier with this Page of Pentacles and the blockage. You know, someone's trying to open up a book and start over, start a new chapter, but in reverse, the book is not, not closed yet. The other book, you know, it's like um, someone's in limbo. Someone is still going through some changes in their life and they're, they're not fully ready to give a relationship what it fully deserves, the attention it deserves, whether that be you or this person. Um, let me clarify this person's intentions. Why is this person's intentions with Scorpio, the Six of Wands? I'm getting strong fire in this reading. Strong fire, strong, um, yeah, mostly fire. Fire and water. Why the Six of Wands? The Eight of Pentacles 
and the Knight of Cups. This person intends to express their feelings to you. This person intends to be more vulnerable. This person intends to be more playful. And if you know cats pretty well, whenever they roll over and expose their tummy, that's their way of saying, I feel safe with you. I feel safe. Please don't hurt me. You know, any moment someone can just step on that cat's tummy, you know, this, this, this cat feels comfortable with you, wants your attention. Okay, wants to make something work, Eight of Pentacles. Someone may have had to withdraw their energy for a minute with that hermit to the moon. There could have been a secret being kept. Um, why is this Page of Pentacles in the blind spot for Scorpio? Oh, and if my room's a little bit darker than usual, we're having a storm. So if you hear any kaboom sounds, that's just thunder. Why the Page of Pentacles? Why the Page of Pentacles for what's in the blind spot for Scorpio and this person? The Knight of Swords and the Strength card, Leo energy. Now when the Strength card shows up in the blind spot, that's the energy of not feeling safe to be vulnerable, not feeling confident, not feeling strong, not feeling support, not feeling like you can take care of something. Because when you look at the Strength card in any other setting, the Strength card is the energy of allowing those internal primal instincts to take over you know where you want to go after what you desire both passionately romantically um, monetary it's like the energy of having the confidence to just go after what you want but when it's in the blind spot someone felt weak someone felt a lack of confidence a lack of strength that something was going to work out the way that they want it to or felt um, unsure about being vulnerable and started becoming very obsessive about it as obsessively you know, thinking that they should keep their voice silent. Whether it's silent from expressing their feelings to you or silent in the sense that they felt like staying out of your life for a minute was going to be better for you than to have you or to have them in your life. It's like they thought that they were doing you a favor because they felt like they were too complicated for you at this moment. But their behavior in October towards you is the Two of Cups. So let's check that out. You could be connecting with a Gemini, and then I got the Four of Pentacles, strong Capricorn coming in. Um, somebody was protecting something, or playing it safe, Four of Pentacles. Why the Two of Cups? Why the Two, this one wanted to come out, Six of Pentacles, we'll get another jumper. Six of Pentacles is wanting to have balance, wanting to get to a situation that gives to you in return equally. Page of Wands. Two of Wands. Somebody was at a crossroads and now there's this energy of finally opening up a door. You're over here reaching for the door and now in October their door is wide open. Them sitting at their doorstop thinking, is Scorpio going to open up their door? Is Scorpio going to open up their door and meet me at the coffee shop? But there is a fear of getting burned here. Because the Page of Wands in this tarot deck shows me someone really curious about th that flickering light, that flame, that intensity that's drawing their energy towards it, not realizing that their tail is getting caught on fire. And you had the same sentiments. You both were scared of getting hurt. You both were scared of getting hurt by the other. So there's a fear of being vulnerable um, or just bringing a lot of negative attention to a situation. The potential outcome in October is the Ten of Wands. Why the Ten of Wands? Why the Ten of Wands? Ah! The Judgment card. And I got that as the overall energy. And then there's the Three of Swords. For some of you, you guys did separate for a minute or went quiet on each other. Maybe you haven't spoken to each other in the last three weeks and someone's wanting to let that cycle go. Some of you, there was a past situation involved, Six of Cups or children. But the Judgment is all about allowing yourself to make a judgment call with your intuition leading you the way. Picture this card, picture this cat, you Scorpio, that's you and that translucent cat is your higher self dropping you downloads into your crown chakra, telling you what to do. You know, no pointing the blame and not using false information, it's getting the information straight from the source, the divine. Because there's three sides to every situation, your side, their side, and spirit side, the truth. So your advice is the Ace of Cups, this is a very interesting reading. I don't even know how to title this video. Um, the only thing I got so far is that this is a very intense connection, but I don't know. Why the Ace of Cups? The Three of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Um, 
I do feel like some of you are divorcees, like you've been married and divorced before and you know a thing or two about a thing or two and you don't want to get screwed over. Again, you don't want anyone to break your heart. But I'm also getting that for some, there could have been outside influence um, blocking this from happening. Whether someone was still getting over an ex or you, or there was a lot of fear of getting hurt because someone here may have gotten really badly hurt in a previous relationship or this is saying that you guys are trying to reconcile differences after a breakup or after a, a disconnect um, because it definitely shows me you know someone looking at their feelings and trying to be careful trying to be careful and use their judgment even though they're scared nine of swords Tell me about that judgment to the Nine of Swords. And if you guys were never in a relationship, um, it's telling me that you guys were starting something and then something just stopped. Like someone's voice got denied. Like someone just, you know, stopped en engaging but didn't stop giving attention to the relationship. It's like not communicating but energetically attached to the relationship still. Why the judgment? Oh man, the card just went flying over my table and I'm all mic'd up. Hold on. Can I reach it? I think I can reach it. Excuse my pajamas. Ten of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. So clarifying that judgment card, I got the Ace of Pentacles and I got the Ten of Pentacles. Someone trying to make a final decision surrounding accepting an opportunity. Ace of Pentacles that could lead to a long-term committed relationship. All right, someone's trying to look at the situation and ask themselves, is there growth here? Is there long-term potential? Or am I just gonna waste my time with this person? I need to use my intuition. I need to make a final decision. So get ready, Scorpio. Someone's making a final decision, or you are. I feel like it's the both. Um, after some weird energy was going on between the two of you. Um, and for others, for others, this is a reconciliation, okay? I got a group that never even got their relationship off the ground. Someone just stopped investing and started getting weird and quiet. While another one, you guys may have just like blocked each other. And it looks like you were tempted to reach for that door and lock it. This is a really interesting reading, Scorpio. I feel like throughout October, there's going to be some funkiness between the two of you that may merge into November because you're not done with each other. There's something going on here that maybe um, a lot of 5D energy is working itself out first. Now, if you're in recent no contact with somebody right now, I'm going to get their hidden feelings for you. Please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl. And if you would like to book a private reading with me, Scorpio, the link to my website is in the description box below this video. I also did my all signs reading the other day. I will link that in the description box below this video. You just click on the Scorpio timestamp and it'll give you an insight on how your person feels about you for the next seven days. Our relationship was different and special. Other people didn't understand it. Yeah, for a lot of you Scorpios, you and this person have something unique going on. And it's, it's like, it's hard to explain to people in your life the type of connection you have with this person or explain the situation you both are dealing with right now. It, it's definitely the energy of you saying to people, oh, you won't understand what we got going on. You're not, you're not gonna understand why we're in the situation we're in. I, I don't wanna explain. That's the energy I'm getting off of you both. My, my memories of you haunt me and keep me thinking about what it could have been. Can you see that? Can you let go of the past and forgive me? Can you trust me again with your heart? Someone definitely wants forgiveness from something. I'm still trying to find a place for myself in the world. All right, so I hope this helps, Scorpio. I'll check back in with you in a week or so. Um, until then, take care. Smile until your cheeks hurt. I love you. Rock that like and subscribe button if you don't mind. And later, Gators.